Today we're shooting rolling rig sports car photography with a McLaren 650S. I've teamed up with my good friend and sports car photographer Oliver Lundy to tackle a rolling rig McLaren photo shoot and create images like these bangers. What are you doing Oliver? I'm currently setting up the third anchor point. So on the car, you've got two anchor points for yeah. the take the weight front and back, mm -hmm. and then you've got a third one which you mount laterally to stop it from moving. Right. Because the reason for that is, is the, when you've mounted the camera on the end of a seven meter long pole, mm. it can wobble quite a lot. Right. And obviously you don't want that if you're doing a long exposure, which is what we're going to do. So Oliver, is this rig readily available online? So it's from a company called the Car Camera Rig. Right and they put together all of the mounts, all of the suction cups, the poles, the supports, like everything. Yeah. And you can start off with a kind of entry level kit and then sort of slowly progress to more, more advanced ones or more heavy duty ones, depending yeah. on what you're trying to do. Right. Are you gonna jazz me? <laughs> He's going to joust me. I've got, I've got like two more poles at the moment. <laughs> Seriously, this is like setting up a sailing boat. Check this out. But just getting the tension right between the three cables, because once it's seven and a half meters long, Mm. So when I pull this out, you can see the end moving. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's one of the ways that you can tension it up. This is a good point actually. If you ever push a car from the wheels, you've got to do it, you've got to be careful of the fact that you don't chop your fingers off. Yeah. Because it actually <laughs> has happened. Because obviously with like sports cars, big heavy brakes, even though the car's moving slowly, it's a hell of a lot of weight and it's not going to stop. No. So, if you're gonna do it from the wheels, you've gotta pinch the wheels mm. and only hold like the very edges of them as they go around. Right. Or better is use the wheel, use the tires. Mm. And you put your hands on the outside. It's actually quite easy to move a car just by pushing the tires around. Mm. So we're just about ready to start shooting. 10 or 12 minutes that took, and we're just about to offer up the camera to the rig. So ideally you wanna mount it so that the camera sits right under the pole uh -huh. so that it's you yeah. get the least amount of wobble. So you're gonna have to mount it upside down. And in post, do you have to edit out this pole? Yeah. yeah. And suction cups on the bonnet, uh, on the windscreen and everything, which, you know, adds another 15, 20 minutes to your edit. So you don't know how well you know your camera until you try and use it upside down. Upside down, down yeah. <laughs> so now, now, so now we've got composition. So with this length of the pole, we've actually got more than enough um, room yeah. so I can shoot quite wide like this and that's what we're going to start with so we'll shoot, shoot a wide one and then we'll zoom in and, and shoot a tighter one from the same angle and then you can pick in post which one you yeah. use yeah so one final thing is if you've got image stabilization in your lens you want to turn it off and if you and you want to use manual focus so that at no point during the exposure is anything changing at all. And you would think that image stabilization would help, but the tiny little micro jitters actually make it more blurry than right. just leaving yeah. it off. Okay. And it's a weird counterintuitive thing, mm. but yeah. So turn all that stuff off, yeah. just leave it straight camera, manual focus, away you go. So this is it. Oh, I'm well excited. Mission's on, it's in neutral, handbrake's off. <laughs> So Oliver is pushing the McLaren at less than one mile an hour to keep that seven meter long carbon fiber pole as still as possible. And it's a 30 second exposure, so it's a lot of pushing. Right, so now we've 
we're going to move it over so that we can get the rear quarter because the rear quarter is a really good angle. Rookie mistake. <laughs> Trying to push this thing with a handbrake on. <laughs> so going for a reverse angle now. <laughs> so we're having a few technical issues here. It, yeah. um, we don't know how to turn off the handbrake. We'll go forward to start. We've got this. McLarens obviously don't like being pushed backwards for some reason. Here we go, moment of truth. Does it look good and is it sharp? Oh, it looks good. Okay, so what we're going for next is an arcing rotunda shot, just like you see in the Monaco Grand Prix when they're going flat out through that tunnel. I think this is going to be my favourite shot. So we've got those rolling rig shots in the bag, we think. So we're gonna pack up and do some close-up shots, some detail shots. I've got my 85 millimeter lens open wide and I've got my 70 to 200 millimeter lens as well. So dialing in on those detail shots, the car logo, those gorgeous red brake calipers, that's key to getting a well-rounded car portfolio. This car just bounces reflections off its paint job. I mean, you gotta love a bit of smoke in a can. So that's what's done in this location. We're heading to a different car park now where they've got some standing pools of water. So that should make for some really nice sports car reflections. Better get cracking. 